Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys the new meeting experience for Microsoft Teams. Um, this is going to be a super quick tutorial so if you find it useful you know what to do and with that said let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here we are just in Microsoft Teams um, and in order to actually activate this function, you need to actually navigate over to your settings. So if we're in the top right hand side here, just on your avatar, if you give that a click and then navigate down to settings. From here, um, just under the general um, tab, you'll notice a new button, um, a toggle button here, checkbox, just um, within the application settings. It says, turn on the new meeting experience. New meetings and calls will open up in separate windows. Um, and it does require a system restart for Microsoft Teams. So in order to actually activate this, you'd have to toggle this button on. Now, it's also worth just noting here that um, this function might not be available to everybody right away. Um, it's only, I believe, a select few kind of uh, tenants that are um, currently being trialed for this. Um, but if you are fortunate enough to have this function, you can toggle it on. Um, so what I'm going to do is just click that one there and then close my settings. Now it's at this point here that we need to restart Microsoft Teams. Um, and in order to do that, all you need to do is actually just right click here um, and then click um, quit. Okay. Um, and once you do that, um, that will basically close Microsoft Teams completely um, and then you can restart the application. Um, so I'm just going to reload Microsoft Teams um, and then what we'll do is we'll have a look at that new function. Okay, so here we are now just within um, Microsoft Teams uh, as we load up here. Right, so now we have this new function enabled, what we want to do is actually start a meeting. So I'm just going to navigate to my calendar and just click on a meet now. Okay, and the first thing that you'll notice is this is now a separate window to Microsoft Teams, which basically means I can, for example, go to my Teams channel um, and come back down to my tray here uh, and we can see that we have two windows and I can bring this meeting up um, like so and I can resize it accordingly, right? Um, I can turn that off and I can click join now. Um, and this is basically now starting a meeting um, within uh, a new window independent of Microsoft Teams. The, uh, there's quite a few other functions here that I just want to walk through um, with you guys because there's, Fundamentally, this, this doesn't just um, separate the video call from um, your main Microsoft Teams application. Instead, it actually enhances the meeting experience altogether. So what I'm going to do is just maximize this screen here. And the first thing that you'll notice is there is no longer a taskbar control bar hovering um, above your screen here. Instead, they've moved that up to this top right hand side, which is absolutely fantastic. Some of the other videos that I've done in the past where I try to talk about how you can hide this annoying um, taskbar from appearing here. Um, with this new meeting experience, that is now actually tucked away in this kind of like header bar at the top. Um, so it does not interfere with um, people presenting, etc. So that's a major step forward. Um, of in this uh, bar here, you have the standard kind of um, functionality that we've had before. So um, to hide the participants, to show the participants, right? And that's a little uh, box just here on the right hand side. Um, you also have the ability to show the conversations, um, raise your hand like you would normally, and then you have the more options. Um, here you also have your camera and your microphone and the share. Okay, there's also um, the leave function here, which has a little toggle drop down, which basically lets you leave the meeting and not end it or to end the meeting. Um, so in some circumstances where you might be the organizer of a meeting and you want to pop out for, I don't know, 15, 30 minutes or so, and then come back, in which case you can leave and the meeting can continue. Or as the organizer, you can end the entire meeting and everybody gets kicked out all at the same time. Okay, so that's new functionality there that's actually quite powerful and useful. Um, under the more options, 
we give that a click, we can see the usual kind of stuff. Um, we also have the meeting notes now, which are um, basically actually you can use your main um, Microsoft Teams application for your taking your notes, leaving your meeting, your video meeting, um, completely available to digest all the video feeds or presentations that are being shared. So now you can have a separate window for note taking um, against your, um, your basically your your video call. The other thing here that I can't show you because I've only got one attendee here, but basically the focus mode when you're sharing your screen, um, the focus mode basically then. Um, allows you to remove anything else from the screen so you can focus on the shared presentation or the shared screen um, that has been you know shared with you um, so focus mode here is is something that's new and I haven't tried it out yet but when I do I'm sure it's going to be um, very useful in removing distractions so you can digest exactly what is needed from that presentation. Um, other than that, a lot of this other stuff is remains the same um, as always. Uh, and obviously this functionality will continue to change and adjust as they add in um, more ways to um, make your video calls more interesting, such as um, the gallery view, etc. cetera. Um, and that I imagine will be within this, this function here eventually. Um, but yeah, that guys, that is it. It's as simple as that in order to um, actually set up a um, new meeting experience in Microsoft Teams. Um, and obviously, you know, it won't be available to everyone right now, but they will be rolling it out within the next few months. Um, so everyone's going to be able to experience um, or a more dynamic approach to Microsoft Teams. Um, so hopefully you found this useful. If you did, you know what to do, and I will catch you guys in the next video.